So I was just testing the new PCB that is the version 5.5. As you can see, I have this mess right now, but the display is working. That is one display from Raspberry Pi. As we know, the Raspberry Pi have two of them. So one display directly goes to this one and another one goes to this. So finally, this is my first time seeing both of the display working. I had lots of debugging that I did. Uh, sometimes it was the power supply was not working. Then I had to use my uh, this uh, dev board as a power supply. So five volt and three volt then suddenly i discovered the soldering was not working so i had to resolder a new board even though this was working fine because i thought this is faulty because of the it, it, because it didn't work but it seems that was the power supply but yes so finally this is the with the new board uh, the both of the display is working so that's great so next i will try to solder others other module here so i'm calling this chunk as a module so yeah then test one by one uh, because as i know uh, this was already tested so it should work this one also this this and uh, one of the new thing that is on the res, uh, new pcb is this USB hub. Uh, I was using a really old chip that you can't buy it from DigiKey or Mauser. So I'm trying to source all the parts from DigiKey or Mauser. So all the parts uh, you can buy at a time. You don't have to use a different website or different site to buy this component. So one thing remaining that uh, I have to buy from the different website that is this ip2127 uh, usb pdic i tried different alternative uh, i haven't succeeded yet but uh, but i have some stock left uh, so i will use them for now and i can easily buy them from aliexpress so i'm stick i'm keeping this other than that all the ics you can buy it from digikey Today's sponsor is PCBWay. They have PCB printing service starting from $5. You can order 10 PCBs in 9 different colors here. They also have 3D printing service which is very reasonable. Go to the third section of the website and click 3D printing service and add your own STL file. Choose materials and other features and get a price. Check out their 3D printing service and PCB printing service from the video description below. So another thing I discovered is with the Pine SO cores, the display doesn't work. I don't know why. Um, maybe the OS is not set up correctly, that's why. As you can see, this is running uh, so i have to debug that but right now i want to go forward that's why i won't uh, debug this right now i will use the raspberry pi and test all the things out and solder everything right now i have this voltage regulator soldered uh, it's powered by a 12 volt uh, input 12 volt is going here then it's converted to 3.3 volt and 5 volt 5 volt is going to raspberry pi now raspberry pi is booted and 3.3 volt is going to esp32 that is underneath and right now raspberry pi booted SPN OS. so right now it's working fine now I will try to solder this part of the PCB and use the battery to charge it.
Right now I have Mutancy version 5 booted. As you can see, it has the display running, showing up the desktop. This is a 4.3 inch display and it's running off battery. Yeah. As you can see, I uh, didn't solder the charging and everything there, but it's running fine. As this is a test. So I finished soldering the charging IC and the USB PD. Right now it's charging the my 2S battery. So that is 8.4 volt. And right now this is the status LED. That means the IC is working and right now it's charging. When charging is finished, then the blue LED will turn off, but the status LED will be kept on because uh, I have this plugged in so that's my power bank yes uh, I will wait till it's fully charged then I will put my Raspberry Pi here and put together then boot it up so this is my third time assembling it right now I forgot so many things so right now I'm trying to test everything except this thumbstick because I was using this thumbstick uh, maybe for two years right now with the development so the connection point of that FPC cable got damaged so right now I don't have any connection uh, I have to order a new part of this joystick but right now I just want to test the ones uh, working and try to show you guys so what I soldered right now here is uh, most of the essentials except the USB hub is missing so I am using the testing port to bypass the USB hub and directly connect the ESP32 to Raspberry Pi and other than that I soldered everything uh, but I don't need this uh, expansion port and all the internet right now. So I'm testing it without them. So this SD card have the um, Raspberry Pi OS, the default one, nothing changed. And here is just I'm bypassing the USB from the Raspberry Pi to USB of the ESP32 so I can use the keyboard So mouse doesn't work because the thumbstick is not connected but keyboard works so I can maybe type uh, so you can see it's the keys are working zero key So next I will solder all of the IC that were missing. That's the mainly uh, USB hub IC and print out this uh, cover uh, and this all keycaps and order a thumbstick. Then hopefully I can make the final video.